Me now is Democratic Congressman from Ohio, Joyce Beatty, member of the Congressional Back Black Caucus. And ma'am, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. Pleased I'd like to, to be here. I'm glad you're here, too. I want to ask you where you would like to see federal legislation on the Confederate flag go. Well, I would like us to do what we were trying to do last week when the nation was watching us as South Carolina was taking down the flag. Here we are in Congress in a late night decision putting legislation back in that would no longer allow us to ban the Confederate flag from being in national parks and on cemeteries. So I would like us to sit back down. Those two amendments made by two of my Democratic colleagues had passed with a, a voice vote. So for my Republican colleagues to then come back late in the evening and put language in that didn't even include the words Confederate flag, hoping that we would not be scholarly and find it. And the perception of some of your colleagues on the other side of the aisle who see this merely as a symbol of uh, honoring those who fought in a war and died in that war, what is your reaction to them? Well, well, when I hear that and we talk about this flag, there's several issues. First of all, this was really not the flag uh, of the war at that time. And secondly, the flag is symbolic of racism and hatred. And when you look at what happened in South Carolina with the Charleston Nine, symbolically, this flag was able to have the power to encourage senseless violence. And so I think when you listen to the words that the governor said as the flag was coming down, she couldn't help but think of the Charleston Nine. Mm -hmm. And I think people across the country feel the same way. And certainly I'm proud of my Democratic colleagues who had the foresight to have us continue with that progress that was being made as the nation was watching in South Carolina. Yeah, and in fact, your colleague, Congressman Hakeem Jeffries, um, he made a remark on the House floor that got a lot of attention, and here's that. Let's listen. Mr. Speaker, had this Confederate battle flag prevailed in war 150 years ago, I would not be standing here today as a member of the United States Congress. I would be here as a slave. That sends chills down the spines of many, including mine, it, as you it hear that. Absolutely does. absolutely does. But can you put into perspective how far you think this nation has come on the issue of racial equality, or perhaps it's better to say how far we have yet to go? Uh, I, I think it's both. I think certainly we have made some progress, but clearly what happened on the floor indicates to us that we are not where uh, we should be. We're not where our great leaders who would be looking back now. I think they would say Frederick Douglass, Martin Luther King, they would say we still have a lot of work to do. When you look at this crime that happened, that nine people lost their lives because of a hate crime. Nine people lost their lives because someone believed in separatist principles, believed that he had to take their lives because of the color of their skin. I think we need to have more dialogue. Uh, while I am proud of the past, I have great concern over the work that we have to do in the future. When you look at this, when you look at voter registration, when you look at housing and education, there's so so many things that we need to continue to work on because the obstacles and the things that get in the way is because of the color of one's skin. Mm. Certainly there's more work we have to do. Indeed. The Congressional Black Caucus has been out in the front on this issue and we will continue to make sure that we keep it on the front so we can continue to make progress and more importantly not allow colleagues to undo the progress that we have made. Democratic Congressman Joyce Beatty, thank you very much for the conversation. I appreciate it. Thank you.